Okay, today we're going to go through the Google Docs scavenger hunt. Open the assignment by clicking here. You're going to make a copy. And we're going to go through each one of these very quickly together. Okay. First of all, number one said define the following words using the define tool in this doc and add the definitions as comments. So we need to find out what these words mean. There's a few different ways to do it, but one way to do it is to highlight it go up to tools dictionary that's how you define words right and there it is it gives you the word you could have also highlighted and right click or two finger click and click define abeyance either way okay now I'm gonna grab the whole thing and I'm gonna command C copy and I could just paste it right here but it does say add it as a comment so I'm gonna come up here to insert comment there's a couple other ways you can do that too you can go up you can go to this little comment bubble here and click add a comment as well okay and it's going to add a little comment here now this this feature usually isn't used for this kind of thing it's more for commenting if you and another student are working on the same document together but um, you can simply you can simply comment just like that if you need to all right so you would do the same thing with these other two okay let's go to number two Use the Explore tool in this document to answer the following California trivia questions. Okay. The Explore tool, if you've never used it before, is right here. It's this little cross at the bottom. Okay. So if you click on it, it's basically the internet inside of your Google Docs. So over here, for example, how tall in feet is California's highest peak? I can come over here and search California's highest peak and what I'll notice is a few different things I'm gonna go ahead and just click on this one and see what I get and I notice down here there it is there's the highest one Mount Whitney and it's 14,505 feet I'm gonna copy it and I'm gonna come back over here and paste now remember if I do just command V it'll do that because it's got formatting from the last one but if I do shift command V then it'll put it It'll match the rest of it. So that's the Explore tool. Okay? You can do the other two on your own. Number three, find a picture online of California's official state bird and insert your picture in the space below. So there's a few different ways you can do this. First of all, you're going to be putting a picture in. So it says insert your picture. So we can go to Insert, Image, Search the Web. Or we can use our Explore tool again. Okay? We can go to our Explore tool and say California State Bird. When we do, you'll notice, click on images, and you'll notice all the different ones, okay? On the web, it says it's the quail under images, okay? You can grab whichever you want, okay? You can either click the plus sign, or you can drag it where you want it. It says to put it in the space below, so we're going to put it right here. You'll notice it's very big, so you may want to grab it and always resize from one of the corners, okay? So you can bring the size way down using one of the corners. All right. Number four, let's close the Explore tool. Number four, use the Explore tool to find an interesting website about California, then type the title of the website. You would do the same thing. Click here and you can type in. You can also even, you can also even copy and paste interesting website about California. Command C and paste it up here. Okay. And then fun things to know, that'll work, right? That's an interesting website of California. So we'll come back over here. And it just says type the title of the website below and create a hyperlink. So the title of the website is this. So let's copy. And then we're going to put, if we do Command V, look what it does. Okay, so I'm going to undo Command Z and I'm going to do Shift Command V. Okay, now it says to create a hyperlink as well. To create a hyperlink, first we're going to go up here. And, no, that's not the one. We're going to go up here. This is the link right here. So we're going to copy it, Command C, then we're going to come down here. And we want this to be hyperlinked so that it goes to it when people click on it. We'll go there. Right, there's a few different ways to do this too, but here's the little link, insert link, or you can go insert link. There's a bit, few different ways to do it. And then we'll just paste the URL right there. And now it's a hyperlink for people to click on. All right. All right. Number five, insert a table with three columns and five rows below. So I'm going to put my cursor down here, 
it says insert a table so I'm going to insert table and it says three columns so I'm going to come across three and five rows and it's that simple to enter tables number six use the word count tool to find out how many words in this document and type your answer here well if it's a tool it says it's a tool then I can come up here to tools and I see word count look at the information it gives you about your document okay now they want the word so 285 command C and I'm gonna paste it right here I could type it too but I could paste it too okay. number seven switch the page setup from portrait to landscape and make the entire page yellow now what I notice is it says page setup okay so I can look through each of these until I find it which there it is okay but if I don't want to look through each of these I could always use the help menu the help menu will help you find anything you need. I clicked page, I turned, I typed in page setup, and when I click it, there it is. It said to change it to landscape and change the entire color to yellow. I just did it. Click OK. All right, that's pretty crazy yellow. Number eight, in the space below, write out the math problem three divided by three with the answer using only numbers and math symbols. Okay, so I'm gonna put my, this is where it wanted it. Now, to write out an equation, you usually have a hard time finding the math symbols. If you go to insert equation right here, look at these symbols that show up for you. So I'm just going to start typing 3, and then I need the divided by sign. It's right up here in one of these drop-down menus. There it is, 3 divided by 3. My equal sign is on my keyboard, and then the answer is 1. But you have to use the insert equation um, feature in order to use symbols, okay? Number nine, add a header to this page with your name and date. Bonus points for adding a picture of your school mascot to your header. So a header is what appears at the top of every page in your document. To add a header, it says add. So I'm going to go up here to insert, and I notice it says header and page number, and there it is. A footer would be something that appears at the bottom of every document. Okay? But I'm going to say add a header, and it said with your name and your and the date, Fernando Sanchez, 10-10, excuse me, 2019. It said bonus for adding the school mascot to your header. So I'm going to come down, I'm going to enter, and I'm going to say insert image, search the web, or we could have explored too, remember. Okay, and I'm going to say, I'm just going to say wildcat click on Wildcat and I'm just gonna grab any one you know those don't really go with our mascot but you can try searching for WGMS Wildcat but it's not looking like it so we'll just we'll just do a Wildcat for now maybe you'll find a different one later so um, this one looks pretty cool so I'm gonna grab him put him right down here now he's probably gonna be big right so you're gonna want to resize with one of the corners every time okay every time use the corners right okay now what you'll notice is he's at the top of this page and even at the top of this page because it's a header and headers appear everywhere all right finally number 10 which feature in Google Docs is your favorite use the voice typing tool to record your answer below okay, I want you to watch this voice typing tool helps you not have to type so we're gonna go up to tools voice typing Okay. Now, you, if it doesn't work, you may have to come up here, okay, in the little padlock or the little eye, go to site settings, and make sure that your microphone is on. Click allow, okay. Then you can close that. You have to reload the page. Wait, cancel. I don't. I want to make sure all of my changes had saved. Okay. Let's try it. Click to speak. Okay. So my favorite tool is the voice typing tool. And you can click it when you're done. All right. I hope you had fun.